In this tutorial I'm going to show how to quickly trace over things um, with Photoshop in a fairly easy way. Um, so there will be tools like the pen tool and things like that which um, you might find easier to use. I'm just going to show the techniques that I use uh, to trace over things. So as you can see here, some of you may be familiar with this, this is all from Lord of the Rings. I haven't personally drawn this. Um, but with your work, you'll probably want to be only tracing over concept art that you've done or things you've got permission for. Um, so in a previous tutorial, I have shown the magic wand, but once uh, when I've got um, this scan, so maybe you've scanned in some work, um, but you want the background of the paper or whatever to be gone, um, all you need to do, get the magic wand tool, click it, and then as long as it's selecting the right stuff, so I know that this is out, uh, not getting any of the sword, I can delete that. And then maybe I want to uh, get rid of these little bits here. So now I've got a nice outline with the um, contrasting background there. What I then want to do, make I want to make a new layer. If I start drawing on this layer, so I'll just show you as an example. Um, so if I start to trace over this, this brush, if I start to trace over this, and then I want to hide the the reference that I'm using, so the concept, then it takes my line work as well. So what I want to do, new layer, you might want to uh, rename these layers. So if you just double click on the text, um, then you've got uh, each layer, you know what it is. So what we then want to do, control plus or control minus, so next to the backspace, uh, you can zoom in, you can also use the zoom in tools here. Uh, so click and then hold alt and then it zooms out on this magnifying tool. But I like to use control plus and minus and then hold space and then left click and then you can drag around the, the scene. So uh, what we can then do is if you're wanting to maybe add a little bit of flair to the sword or you want to um, manually draw over it, um, then use a smoothing tool Make it so the thickness of the brush matches fairly well the outline of um, the thing that you're using. So if you've got maybe a cartoony game, you'll probably want um, a more distinct outline. Um, whereas this is fairly realistic, so the outline probably won't be as thick. So I'll do four, change this to black, then we can start tracing over it. So with the smoothing, it's getting a lot smoother, so I've got out the lines there, talking, but when you're concentrating, it should be a lot easier. So that's just a quick example, but what I want to show is a quick way to do straight lines. So you might be thinking, oh, I have to trace around this, and I might get wobbly, and it might go wrong. What you can do here is, when we've got to that point, just hold shift and click on one point, and then click on another and it draws a straight line from one point to the next. Um, as long as you keep holding of shift, it will uh, start connecting those lines together. Whereas if you let go of shift and then click, it starts a new one. But then if you hold shift again, it then starts a straight line. So if you hold shift, it makes it really easy to start doing straight lines in Photoshop. But we can see here that it's got a little bit of a curve. I'm probably going to do the straight bit there and then curve it around and then hold shift and then connect that up. When we've hidden that, you can see we've got the nice outline of the blade and the little bit I did up there. Um, but if you are wanting to trace, this is a really quick way to be able to do straight lines and be able to prepare your reference or concept or whatever you'd like to call it um, for tracing.